The Narendra Modi cabinet approved four space missions including the Chandrayaan-4 mission on September the 18th. Now this mission is expected to pave the way for India's journey to land a crewed mission on the moon. Will Chandrayaan-4 pave the way for a manned mission to the moon? News 9 Plus decodes. Well, certainly, the project will act as a foundational mission for future journeys to the moon. It will prepare ground for an Indian landing on the moon and returning to the Earth by 2040. The mission may help India become self-sufficient in technologies for manned missions and lunar sample analysis, with significant involvement from the private sector and academic institutions. The moon mission, named Chandrayaan-4, aims to develop and demonstrate technologies for returning to Earth after a successful landing on the moon. It will also collect lunar samples for analysis back on Earth. The mission has been allocated a huge budget of 2104.06 crore rupees. It is expected to be launched by 2027. How different will Chandrayaan-4 be from Chandrayaan-3? Chandrayaan-3 consisted of a lander module, a propulsion module and a rover. The next mission will consist of a lander, a sender, transfer module and a re-entry module. While Chandrayaan-3 showcased the soft landing of the rover and its movements on the surface of the moon, its successor will have two separate launches. It will attempt to launch two modules separately and assemble them in space. Which other space missions have received the Modi cabinet's nod? Apart from Chandrayaan-4, ISRO is also planning three other projects. The Venus Orbiter Mission, or VOM, will be the country's first experiment to land on the neighbouring planet. It will aim to understand the planet's atmosphere and geology. It will try to examine why Venus, which is built similar to Earth, is uninhabitable. This will enable us to understand the evolution of planetary environments. The project has been allocated Rs. 1,236 crores. The cabinet has also approved the development of the first module of the Bharatiya Antrik station. This is modelled on the International Space Station. This space station will orbit 400 kilometers above the Earth's surface. It will provide a space for research on microgravity and astronomy. This will help further the Gaganyaan mission, which will begin in 2025. The total funding for the Gaganyaan program has been increased to Rs 20,193 crores with an additional allocation of Rs 11,170 crore to accommodate its expansion. The cabinet has also approved the NGLB, a new launch vehicle. This vehicle is aimed to be cost-effective, reusable and commercially viable. The cost of this project is Rs 8,240 crores. With the approval of such ambitious space projects, India is set to take a giant leap into space.